Hello, this is Robert Daly with the Daily Woodworks YouTube channel. We are a remodeling company serving Bryan College Station and surrounding areas. Today I'm showing you this beautiful staircase that we redid for Barn Dominium out near Caldwell. Like most staircases, it started with just your typical OSB treads. Um, this is pretty typical in most new construction. This is what's underneath your treads. So you start with this and you just transform it to what you want it to be. We had some really cool old reclaimed posts from the client's grandmother's store from probably close to 100 years ago. Beautiful, nice tight grain on this old pine. Um, you just It's hard to find wood like this and it's a pleasure to work with when you can. We did our treads out of clear southern yellow pine. This is a great wood uh, for treads. It's more cost effective than oak or poplar. It's sufficiently hard and for especially barn dominium it gives you this great rustic look. We chose clear because it had no knots and it's more stable. To attach the treads we used liquid nails and nail it down with finished nails. As you see here, I'm kind of demonstrating how I put the liquid nails on. I was holding the camera at the time, I actually used a lot more liquid nails in this. Um, we went through a lot of liquid nails for this process, but you get the idea here. So everything's glued down, um, the nails really just hold it in place until the glue dries. We used 2 inch 16 gauge nails. Uh, we did rows of 3. And then we did four courses over the treads. Here's looking down. We've got all the treads done. Now I'm working on the landing up top. Fortunately, this landing was not a rectangle. It's very frustrating to have to work with it, but that's part of finishing out carpentry, and that's what makes it fun. We are not doing tongue and groove here because we wanted that big, wide plank. There, and we wanted the expansion and contraction where you see the gaps in between because this is an exterior space so that's really what we're going for you can see this is not conditioned at least not currently we're going in and notching it underneath the trim so that it has fits nice and tight against the wall at a later date we're going to go back with baseboard to really finish it off this is a fun little detail piece that just comes up with uh, trim and finish carpentry. If we would have taken a three quarter inch board and just butted it up against the door seal, you would have had a trip hazard, it would have created a lift that would hurt your foot. So I used my new Hitachi table saw, which I've done um, a couple of reviews on, to create a transition piece where it flowed down and then back up to the landing nice and smooth. Um, it's for safety, looks, and comfort of use. Here are all treads mostly done. Uh, you can see I started putting a bullnose cap on the ends of them. Again, you have those big, wide 1x12 planks that are going to expand and contract and just be beautiful in that kind of rustic sense. I think our overall cost per tread of doing it this way was about $15 a tread. Oak treads for about a 36 inch tread are about $30 a piece and so this was much, much more cost effective than doing it with oak, the full on 5 quarter oak treads. Here's the bullnose uh, that we did on the edge of the treads. This was an additional piece that we glued and nailed on and then I did a round over on it for looks and to save your feet. Now we're going to post and railings. Here are our posts again. Um, these were really dirty and dingy because they've been sitting out of barn for years. So we lightly power washed everything so that it was easier on our tools and clean enough to actually take a coat of lacquer that we put on there when we were done. Um, one, to enhance the beauty of the wood and to protect it and give it a little bit smoother finish while still keeping that wonderful patina that you can only get with aging wood many, many years. 
to do the post. We started with our post. Um, I did them about 42 inches above the tread, and then I created a, I think it's called a bridle joint or a saddle joint. Forgive me if my terminology is not correct. Um, by simply where this line is, is that's what's going to sit on the tread, and then I'm going to notch it out where half the post is actually sitting on the tread so that your load is transferred through the tread and isn't counting on bolts to hold it. So here I'm notching that out, showing you how I'm going to notch that out. My saw has a nice depth stop on it to create these kind of notches. And you notch it out, you beat it out with the hammer. And then come back, clean it up with the chisel. The, the railing that was here that I don't know why they even bothered installing it. Maybe they felt better doing that. It's bad. Here's the posts attached. And here are all the posts attached. I used um, 3 8 inch lag bolts that were about 5 inches long. That way it went through the OSB and into the 2 by framing underneath. Um, these things were incredibly sturdy once done. Here are the finished railings, all reclaimed lumber, um, really blocky, really sturdy. That's the look we're going for. Of course, we did everything up to code. Here's our finished product with the tread stained and the risers done. We just used um, quarter inch plywood, uh, quarter inch birch plywood to go up all the risers to smooth that out. We actually didn't paint it yet. We'll go back at a later date and do that. Uh, we used English chestnut stain with two coats of Minwax polyurethane for floors. We also added some wonderful little barn door um, safety gates. Her grandchildren come to visit and they stay in the upstairs part and there's some young children there. So we want to make sure that they can block off the gate safely so that kids don't fall and we just use some more reclaimed lumber to do that it was very cool thank you for watching this video to the end um, if you are in the Brazos Valley area and need custom carpentry done look us up at dailywoodworks.com or you can just follow um, our projects we do how-to videos we do shop improvement videos we do tool reviews and of course we do projects Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the Daily Woodworks YouTube channel. Have a great day.